welcome to Dining with Diamonds. My name is Em and welcome to the last and final unboxing of my Mary's Diamonds order from December. They all came today. The last two came today, which was very exciting. Um, if you haven't seen the other two unboxings, I will do my best to link them up in the eye so you can watch them after this. There's been some interesting things in both of them. <laughs> so check it out if you are interested in that. And they'll also be linked in the description below. So, But without further ado, let's get into this last one. So I believe this one is Princess Z, which is Zelda from uh, the Legend of Zelda series. Um, and I got this to do for my boyfriend, who is obsessed with The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> um, and I just thought this would either make a really great gift for him or just something that he could hang up in his gaming room. Because he kind of knows I bought it, but he might have forgotten about it by now. Who knows? Um, bring this open. Okay, so let's throw this box to the side for now. So Mary's Diamonds has this all new packaging. It looks very nice. This box doesn't really seem to have any problems or dents in it, which is great. We've got Mary's Diamonds socials on the front and instructions on how to diamond paint on the back, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure. I know I mentioned this in my last unboxing, but I'm not sure how they are shipping their paintings now. I've gotten multiple comments saying that like, they, people have gotten their paintings without the boxes, which is strange, but uh, I have yet to have that experience, so I unfortunately can't comment on that. Ooh. Okay. So let's get right into opening this box. This must be the serial code. It's on the other box as well. Let's pull out our canvas. Ooh, ooh. I think the drills might be. Yeah, they are. Ooh, holy moly. Okay. Ooh, woof. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have our toolkit in here. This is a standard toolkit. Comes with tweezers, some pads of pink wax. Oh, there's a multi-placer in this one. I don't know if I saw that in my other one. And then we have a pen with a squishy and a boat. So I'm going to throw that to the side. <laughs> um, and this canvas has the drills attached to the canvas, which is what Sunflower was like, but the other canvas was not like that. Um, but I love how Mary's Diamonds has recently upgraded their packaging inside the boxes as well. This just adds so much more um, prestigiousness to it. It just looks so much neater and it protects the canvas a lot better too. So let's take off this adorable bow, throw that to the side. I'm gonna cut off the rubber bands holding this in. I only really need to cut off the one and then I'll just take this one off. There's some ABs in this one too. Okay, so I know for a fact that with the Princess Z painting, it did not specify it came with ABs. And there are two ABs in this. Ooh, that's a really nice surprise. At least two that I can see. There might be more, who knows. <laughs> but these are our colors. We've got a lot of neutral colors in here. A decent amount of 310. This is another square kit. Um, I'll tell you the size as soon as I get this guy open. Mary's Diamonds has this really nice soft backing. And we're gonna take out the little styrofoam tube that's protecting its shape. Put that in the garbage box. Uh, I think there might be another, is there another one in here? No. <laughs> no, it's just got more rubber bands, wow. This one's really tightly packed. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm very excited. Let's see. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I love her. <laughs> okay, I love her. Hold on. Let's let's um flip it around. Roll it back so we can lie her flatter. Rolling, if I can get it to roll. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling the canvas back so we can get it to lay flat. And it's taking a little bit longer than normal. It's a larger canvas. And okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. So this is Princess Z by Candace McKay. It is a 56 by 70 centimeter canvas in square drills. And it looks like we've got three ABs in here and 43 colors. 
that's a good amount of ABs for a canvas like this. <gasps> but look at her. She looks, oh, first glance, she looks real, she looks real cute. The only thing that I feel like might get lost in translation here is her glove mixed with the background in here. I feel like that might not translate that well into, um, into this. Also here too, her glove blends in with the background. That's a little, hmm, we'll have to see. I'll have to trust the process and see. And hopefully that won't look weird, but looking at it right now, it looks a little funky. It looks a little weird and like, we, you know, it's gonna not be totally coherent. It's just gonna look like a blob, at least from first glance. There's a lot of similar symbols in the glove and the background. Um, so I kind of wish on first glance so that they differentiated the colors a little bit more. Um, but it's all right. It's still, you know, that's the first impression. We don't know how that's actually going to look. But how she, like, how adorable is this? She's so adorable. I also am a little unsure about the rendering of her face here. Um, it looks like it might be a little bit splotchy. We might have some splotchiness going on. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to, again, trust the pro trust the process and see you know, how that comes out. So this canvas only came in one size. Uh, last I looked on the website, they don't have any other sizes in this kit. It's one size. They also, I believe, raised the price of this kit. I remember this kit being a lot cheaper, um, but then when I went to purchase it recently, it was around like um, $70, which is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Uh, but... I guess we will just see how it looks. But she looks, at first glance, like she'll come out okay. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. So let's take a quick peek at these drills. Mary's Diamonds puts all of their drills in baggies, which is a lifesaver for me because it makes getting up so much easier. And they also include another toolkit. I don't really know why, but there's another toolkit in here. It's just extra things that I don't really need, but are kind of there. So what I want to do is I'm just going to take out the ABs so we can point out where they are on the canvas. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I have a weakness for blue ABs. If you don't know what an AB is, it stands for Aurora Borealis. They're drills that have a really sparkly coating on them, and that makes them sparkle a little bit brighter than your average drill. And when you place them next to the normal drills on your canvas, it makes them sparkle a little bit more as well. It's just to add a little bit of enhancement to your canvas to make it, you know, pop out. It normally is just used to accentuate highlights or shadows in a canvas, but for me, the more the merrier. <laughs> like... I love ABs, and there is so many ABs in this bag. This is actually one of my favorite ABs ever. Um, this is AB995. It's just so, so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Um, and then we have two others, but let's see where they go. So the first one that we have is number 41, which is AB995. Um, this is a square symbol. So let's see where we can find the square on the canvas. I'm expecting there to be a lot of them because there's a whole lot in this bag. <laughs> so we have that in the some of the blue in her wristband here. Some in this one as well. And then a majority of that. I mean, probably the most of it. Unless there's more in here. Um, the most of these ABs are in her whole outfit here. Um, it doesn't fill the entirety of the outfit because that would be a little overkill even for me <laughs> but it's spread out throughout this entire blue area of her of her outfit here um we do have a, a few sprinkled in the flowers um there's none in her hair clips but there are a few of those sprinkled in these flowers as well okay and the next one we have is AB996, this is symbol E on the canvas. Um, now where could we have that? Where could we have that symbol in here? Um, 
Do we have that? Yep, that's still spread out in her bodice a little bit. Wow, that's a hard symbol to see um, from far away. <laughs> from far away, that is very difficult. Um, yep, there's more in her bodice. So that seems to be, or in her dress, in her outfit. So that seems to be also spread out a decent amount in her outfits. Do we have, I feel like there should be more in the flowers here. Yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of that E symbol in the flower up top here in her hair. But in her, oh no, yep, in the flowers too, there's a lot of these. So there are some in her dress, but I feel like probably the majority, now that I'm looking at it more, is in the flowers over here. There's a, there's a lot of them in there. Okay, and then the last one is AB3841. This is symbol L. This is like a gorgeous periwinkle AB. It doesn't really seem to sparkle that much though. Hmm, it's a little weird. It doesn't really seem to shine. And that symbol, let's see where that is. So that is all in the flowers as well. Um, everywhere in the flower. Everywhere up here too. Anywhere you see this like light blue here, that is the last AB we have. Uh, but that's the only place for those ABs. Okay, well, I feel like those are distributed pretty nicely in this canvas. I don't feel like that's overkill. I feel like where they're placed makes sense. So that's great. Okay, so I'm just going to put the ABs back in the bag and we'll talk a little bit more about this canvas. Okay, so I'm going to be totally honest. I'm not sure as of right now on first glance how I feel about the rendering of this kit. Um, I'm afraid that her face is gonna look super splotchy and like unnatural and weird um, and that her gloves are going to blend into the background. Um, but I guess we'll have to see. It is something that I'm a little nervous about. Her outfit though looks so good. Her hair, her outfit, that looks really, really good. Um, so I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm just a little nervous. And this also seems to be pretty confetti heavy. Um, the background is a mix of two different colors, probably 939 and 310, I would assume. Uh, yep, that's exactly, yep, I'm right, 939 and 310. Um, so that that I feel like that's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the neck, <laughs> but it's fine. It'll look. I hope it'll look good. Um, I'm excited to see it come together. I feel like I may make this for my boyfriend's birthday this year. His birthday's in August, so maybe I'll have to put it on the list to get to this year. Especially because I'm curious as to how it's all going to come together with the drills on it. But um. I think that is it for today's unboxing. Let me know what you think of this canvas down below. Uh, let me know if you have done this particular canvas. This does look like a new rendering of this kit. Um, I saw Diamond Junkie on Instagram do this kit and it kind of looked a little weird. And it made me a little nervous uh, to get mine, but I feel like this looks a little different. I don't feel like it's as pixelated, but it's still pretty, pic it's still pretty pixelated. And if you enjoyed this video as well, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and join our little diamond painting family, especially if you like diamond painting content, of course. But with that, I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is you are watching this. And I hope you continue to spread positivity and creativity in your everyday lives. And I will see you all in my next video.